Alrighty, everybody, how is it going? John back with Buckeye Pulls Cards, and today we have a 14 uh, card submission coming back from SGC. Now, I had sent in 14 cards, 13 got graded. They claimed that one of the cards was cut too long or something from the factory, and they did not want to damage it. So it is, has gotten sent back, not in a slab. So we're going to go ahead and pop it open. Um, I already do know the results, but just going to go through and share it with you guys. So we got some good ones in here. Majority of these, actually I believe all these, are uh, PC cards. They taped the crap out of this thing. There's no easy way to open it. Second. Let's see if I can get them out of here. These things are packed tight. Sheesh. Alright, that was a lot harder than it looked. I actually probably struggled, but <laughs> get these 15,000 rubber bands off. These right here. This is the best one, so we're going to save that for last. All right, so. Here is my card that they said they could not grade, which is a shame because this card is freaking awesome. But it's a KJ Hill Obsidian. Now, I'm going to do something real quick. and I'm going to hold it up to a card they did grade. So, they give you this. Too large to holder. Um, their max card size to put in a slab is 180. This is 168 point. So this was going to fit thickness wise. Um, it was a matter of it being too long. So let me... Actually, we'll do that when we get to it. Because we have other cards like this that did get graded. So first, right off the rip, we have a Will Howard from um, Bowman's Best, I believe this is. We had a 10-9. So, Will Howard on the Bowman U Best. Very nice looking card. 10-9. We'll take that. Next up, we have a KJ Hill. This is 1 out of 10. This is a patch card from 2020 Panini Legacy. Very pretty. 10, 9.5, that's the 150th anniversary patch. Now, this is where we're going to do this test and see if it's really bigger or what. Oh, it's shorter. It's shorter, actually. I'm not sure what. Oh, no, that's what it is. It's too large top to bottom. Man, that sucks. So it's cut wide, not long. I'll just have to go in a one touch forever. Put those to the side. All right. After that, we have another KJ Hill. This is a cracked ice out of five. This card is sweet. This got a 10, 8, 5. That card is sick, though. And these are PC cards. I don't plan on selling them. 8.5, yeah, obviously I want better than 8.5, but um, because I'm not reselling it, it's not the biggest deal. I just want these in slabs. I think the SGC slabs just make cards pop. That black background brings out the rest of the card. Move these over here. Next up, we have Garrett Wilson. This is uh, Under the Lights from 2022 Legacy. Look at that. 10 10. Very nice. Here at Wilson. This card is sick. This is a gold refractor of Ramble Man. This is a non card autograph of Emeka Egbuka. 
Beautiful. 10-10 right there. 31 out of 50. Oh, wait. Hang on. Yeah, this is the second or other one. Okay. Next up, we got CJ Stroud from Bowman U. Boom. 9.5. I thought this was going to gem, to be honest. Everything looks pretty good on here. But what can you do? The centering on the back's off. That's what it was, I guarantee it. I just didn't think it was enough to take it to a 9.5. But very, still very pretty. Very nice card. This was one of my favorites from this submission. I love the prism this year. Um, this is a no huddles variation. Also a great looking card. Nine and a half on that. This card is sick. This is my probably my second favorite card in this set. Or the submission. This is Marvin Harrison from Roman U Best. Elements of the game. Was really hoping for a gem on this, but we didn't get it. That's all right. 1095 is good with the Marvin Harrison Jr. Probably a future uh, Cardinal. Probably going to be the fourth pick of this draft. That card is sweet. Here is one of my biggest uh, PC guys for baseball. I'm a Cubs fan, and Miguel Amaya is one of my favorites. So I have a ton of autograph cards from Miguel Amaya. I've been sending them in to SGC as we go. But 1095 on that from the fan favorites out of 23 archives. This card is really sick. Honestly, I thought this was going to be 8, 8 and a half. Turned out to be better than I thought. And we got a solid 9 on the rookie autograph from Jay Hay. Um, honestly, not sure why the... Not sure why the... Autograph didn't 10, but looks like the marker might have ran out a little bit, but cool card nonetheless. Got a solid 9 on it, Jason Hayward, rookie. These next two cards, I know people are weird about people grading one of ones, but again, I like the look at SGC slabs for my collection. I just want them slabbed up. I knew they wouldn't gem, and uh, that's all right. But we have this Paris Campbell from Gold Standard. A 10, 8.5. One of one, Nike swoosh. Next up, we have another one of one. Paris Campbell out of 2019. Donruss Optic. Look at that card. 10, 9, gold vinyl, one of one. NFL Shield. That card is sick. That card is so sick. And the final card, the best card of this submission. Let's take it out of here so it's a little clearer to see. The best card of the submission. Bowman U, 2022, card number 100. Boom, 10, 10, CJ Stroud autograph. That card is so sick. My favorite card of my collection. I'm going to go right next to the rest of my CJ Autos. But to get a 10-10 on this was awesome. This is my first licensed CJ Shroud autograph card. So I, I was praying for a 10 on this. But we got it. So that's uh, the final card of this grading submission. But as you see overall, I submitted this on... I think it got there on the 27th of February... Today is March 22nd, so almost a month door-to-door. -door. Um, well, not necessarily because it was a short month, February, but about 20-something days door-to-door. -door. It was 13 business days from they, when they received them to when they were graded, and I believe 14 business days from grading to shipping back to me. So... Cool cards nonetheless. I definitely recommend SGC. I, I just think that the these cards really, really, really pop in SGC slabs. Um, especially if you have bright colored cards. Like, let me see. I got it somewhere over here. Especially if you got bright colored cards. 
that uh, that black just makes everything stand out. Parallels and whatnot, they all they all glow. So, I mean, that car looks sick in that slab. But that's all I got for today, guys. Um, I have more SUC orders uh, that I'll get back eventually. And for now, that is all I have. Thanks, guys.